Hi, uh, this is a project I've been working on uh, called Kindle Fusion and it will allow you to highlight some text within a Kindle book uh, and when you click to end highlight it will go away and it will uh, generate an image based on that text using stable diffusion. Uh, you can either use a local copy of Automatic 1111 or in this case it's set up to use Stable Horde which is a crowdsourced distributed cluster of computers and workers that are able to um, generate the images for you via an API. Uh, so once it's generated an image you can just click next page to clear it so it's really unobtrusive. Um, I've also created a front end for it here so um, you're able to uh, search like a custom prompt so in this case a picture of a cat in a hat in space with a trippy background so if I set that going, it'll take between around 5 and 20 seconds to, to generate an image depending on how busy their server is at that moment. Um, I've also got another, uh, so this is the image it's come out with here, um, I've also got another um, way of grabbing an image which just pulls it from Unsplash which is like an, an online gallery. Uh, so if you just put cat for example, now these aren't um, it isn't able to generate something new, uh, but if you're just looking for images to um, uh, to show up on the Kindle, it takes a, a couple of seconds to pull it from Unsplash. Um, so there we go, that's an actual photo of a cat. Um, once they're generated as well, um, you're able to pull up the gallery, uh, which has all of the previous um, all of the previous images that you've uh, generated, uh, and if you uh, click to set. Uh, It'll show up on here, so if I change it, you can see. Um, now, one of the things that I'd really like to, to do is to set it up with um, an interim AI. So I had to go here uh, using an interim AI, like ChatGPT, to summarise the characters of a book and summarise their descriptions and then pass those descriptions straight through to uh, Stable Hard. So in this case this was Lord Veterinary from, um, from Pratchett um, and it gave a, a nice description that I was able to use. I think that, that fits pretty much how I imagine him. Um, now as well as that I've got an app, or I, I call it an app, it's it's a HTML page running locally on um, uh, on my phone. Um, and this will allow you to open the camera and uh, if I take a picture of uh, take a picture of something there we go when I when I click it'll pass it through to the Kindle um, now I recognize this isn't the correct way of doing prompts um, but it seems to work fairly well um, and I can also grab when when I um, grab the text. I can also grab the the um, uh, writer and the book name from it, so that gives me something extra to to put into the prompts. Um, now, one thing that could um, simplify the code is currently it's stable. Uh, it's fine if it comes back from um, automatic eleven eleven, but if it comes back from stable hard, it does so in a WebP format, which none of the libraries on the um, Kindle currently are able to uh, are able to open or convert that so I have to pass it through to my own custom API which will return it as a JPEG in a way that the Kindle can then see but if I could get that compiled for um, for Kindle native then it wouldn't need any uh, separate API to, to access from there. Um, I've got a GitHub up with the code um, currently I'm not running that API um, publicly so you would just need to run it on your own computer but I can set it up if it's of, if it would be of interest to people um, for testing and yeah if you have any suggestions or you have any um, uh, queries with it please let me know thanks a lot